Sorry, some other things popped in my head. I'm going to keep it civil. Um, but, you know, um, it's just one of those things that, you know, like these things, they don't mean nothing. You know, everybody looks more cut than I did at 180, 170, right? But nobody is stronger than me. Just because they look, they all show no go. That's what I like to say. Uh, and we'll find out on Saturday if they have any go in them. You know, um, damn, I just can't wait, you know? Like, uh, yeah, it, that's that's really where my head's at, is I, I just really want to fight. The most excited fighter I've seen at this stage of someone's weight cut this time of the week. Yeah, because I'm not cutting weight. That's the beauty of 85, yeah. Yeah. right? Um, and, you know, like last fight, I didn't make weight, got sick. Nobody reports that, but whatever. Okay? How are we um, supposed to know that you're sick if you don't tell us? Well, that's the thing is I had to keep it secret because I had to beg for that fight. <laughs> then you can't hate on the media for not reporting it, right? Yeah, I can. Why? Always y'all's fault. <laughs> okay. Um, Why'd you have to beg for that fight? Uh, yeah, because I, I, I wasn't too, I wasn't in a good position. Um, what was but, wrong? Uh, I don't, hell, I don't know. I, I, I'm after, trying to report after, on it. After I, after I found out I was sick, I sort of just, I, you, you have to suffer through things. You know, and that's what a lot of these guys, you know, a lot of people, MMA people, don't, they don't really understand is, you know, you have a sick day. What do you do? Oh, man, I'm sick. I, you know, you can call in. I'm taking off work today, pussy. <laughs> you know what I mean? We get sick. You got to keep fighting. You, you know, and, then, and that's, that's, that's the gist of it. I don't know how many times broken hands, broken noses, this, this. You know, you got to fight through it. Um, and this fight I feel awesome for. You know, I'm not sick. I'm not fat. I'm just chilling. Well, you seem excited now, but when, when they came to you with this fight, I mean, here's a guy that hasn't accomplished what you've accomplished, hasn't done what you've done. Were you excited then? Were you like, yeah, let's do this? Or yeah. do you think, why, why this guy? No, I, I never think that. It's a fight, you know? Maybe they want me to beat him so they can cancel his contract. I don't know. <laughs> you know what I mean? There's so many different ways. Maybe they want him to whoop my ass so they can get rid of me. <laughs> you know, so so that's just the gist of it, man. Dude, you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm to the point of my career and my life, I, I got so caught up in not... And what I need to do, and, and, and not have a fun with my life, you know. Like I'm finally back to having fun. Uh, I'm smiling again. I'm, I'm, uh, you know, my life's changed around, uh, and that's just really the gist of me as a human being. Is that now I'm not, I'm not, I'm not worried. Sorry if you were asked this before, but why did you go to Jackson's, and how did you like it? Uh, yeah, I've been asked that a thousand times. But Thank in this particular, the very, well, very, I mean, there's like, I'm just kidding, dude. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, no, I loved it. Love Jackson's, uh, you know, and the re one of the reasons why I went there is because they, they already trained for me a couple times, okay. <laughs> you know, so they, they, they've been on the opposite side of me. So they know what kind of fighter I, I, I was and what kind of fighter I want to be now. Um, and, 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 uh, you know, Jackson, he's so smart when it comes to that aspect. Uh, and then Wink, you know, he's right there with him. You know, those two put together, then you throw my boxing coach in there. I mean, I, like in a year, no, I, 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 really, I really believe this. You give me a year with those three, Jackson, Wink, and my box coach, Tony. Uh, I don't think anybody beats me on my feet. I don't think anybody beats me in a year. So will Jackson and Wink be in your corner on Saturday? Uh, yeah, Wink will, okay. not Jackson. Uh, Jackson's got to stay there with Diego, okay. um, but Wink is going to be here for my fight, uh, and we're going to move from there. Okay. And by the way, it, it's kind of interesting seeing you on this card and the return of GSP because you were the last guy, yep. and I'm sure you've been asked about this as well, but just seeing him back as a 185-er, your thoughts? Is it weird being on the same card as him after all these years? No, it's not weird. Okay. It's not weird. Uh, if he loses and I win... I just want a rematch. Okay, that's the goal. That's the goal. I'm gonna, well, yeah, I'm, I'm, all, I, I'm definitely gonna win. But if he if he doesn't win, then yeah. He, you know, I asked him recently about what he thought of you post 
you know, in the last four years. And he didn't want to really go all in, but it did seem like he was implying that, you know, things have changed now in the, in the USADA era. Did you hear those comments and were you offended by them? Uh, no, I didn't hear them. And I don't really care. Yo, uh, if I need steroids to compete and to shorten my life, I got four beautiful kids. I don't need that shit to, to, to win a fight. You know, he's only pissed off because I'm stronger than he is. <laughs> uh, and, and you know what? Here's the thing is that, so if I'm on steroids, then why has my body changed? Why am now am I looking bigger than I did at 170? Because I'm doing it naturally. I, I just lift weights. Like I said, uh, <clears throat> You know, the, the way that I look at steroids and all that other bullshit that, you, you know, if you got to take that, you're, it's like a cock block. You know what I mean? Like, there's something in your head that you're not mentally tough. You're weak. You're weak as an individual, you know? And so, so these guys who take these steroids and that and this, uh, you're, you're, you're a fraud. You know what I mean? You really are. And here's the thing is that I've been tested since I was a freshman in college on steroids, everything, marijuana, you, you name it. I'm clean. Hey, I'm, that's the beauty of me is I, hey, if you want to test me today, let's go test. You want to test me tomorrow, let's go test. Some people won't do that. I'm, hey, it doesn't bother me to get randomly drug tested. I actually like it. The only thing I don't like is that you get rid of the uh, IVs. Those IVs, those were my lifesavers. For definitely for 170. Gosh, dang, dude, those things are just those were everything for me. Um, and <laughs> you take those away, it, it killed me because like I, I couldn't bounce back. I'd, I'd be at 182, 183 after weigh-ins. I used to step in the octagon at two, 200, two, you know, like 202. Anything over 197 to 202, that's what, that's why I stepped in the octagon at. That's what I used to fight at for welterweight. Wow. So, yeah, that killed me because, I, like, I, I, like, I, I, you, Usada made it where I couldn't. I, I realistically, I should never got over one ninety. Right. But for me to change my lifestyle like that, that's called not living. That's called not eating pizza, whatever else you want to throw in there. You know what I mean? I love me some Mexican food, so it is. It is what it is, and that's why you know I chose the choice to move up to eighty five. Um, and now at 85, I'm one and one. Uh, this fight is going to be way different than my last fight because one, I, I, I've actually sparred first time in two years. That's always, wow. That's that's always a plus. I got my timing back. Why first time in two years? Because uh, people in Texas, they just didn't want to spar with me. I was always working with my coaches, thinking I was doing enough. You know, I was rolling with partners, but I never got sparring partners. And you know that last fight. That really showed me that I, I gotta move. If I'm gonna if I'm gonna continue if I'm gonna be good at this sport and do what I want to do at this sport, I have to I have to get away. I have to move away and I have to I have to find a, a gym that pushes me like that. And then hinting Jackson fell into place and I loved it. Thanks Johnny. Hey, good thanks. luck.